they've made a decision. They've chosen Penelope Ann Colon. She's 18 years old. Sort of semi-colon, really. £500 she won, and a silver trophy, and a sports car. She's a secretary from Durban, and she's beautiful, and rather shy, and she's been crowned Miss World, and she's not married, and at my age, really. Traveling with two other passengers plus 150,000 rands worth of gold. Tonight she'll just settle for the top prize of 2,500 pounds. Miss South Africa. <laughs> 20 year old Gillian Jessup, who was born in Krugersdorp, looks forward to her career as a public relations officer or as a personnel manager. Hobbies include reading, swimming, and she enjoys art and fashion drawing. This is her second visit to London. Miss, Miss South Africa. And as well as a silver trophy, Miss South Africa, coming fifth, receives a check for £100. Miss Africa South. Runner-up, Miss Africa South. And for Miss Africa South, a very nice check for five hundred pounds. This time, they send us Monica Farrell. Miss Spain. Miss South Africa. Stephanie. 
Gary Reinecke from Durban. 90. That's an interesting blouse. Or is it? Interesting top, anyway. Miss South Africa. Miss, Miss Africa South. <laughs> And on stage, you're watching the 17-year-old Ellen Peters from Cape Town, Miss Africa South. Now she's got time to compete in beauty contests, I don't know, because uh, she tells me that her hobbies, and wait for it, include horse riding, tennis, cooking, it's a nice cook, sewing, camping, modelling, music, both classical and jazz. Miss South Africa. Shelley Latham from Johannesburg. Shelley's no stranger to London. She spends a lot of time here training horses, the hunters. Fifth Miss South Africa. Shelley Latham, Miss South Africa, fifth place in Miss World 1973. And for 22 year old Miss South Africa, silver trophy and 250 pounds. Miss Africa South. And appropriately, number one is number one, Africa South, Evelyn Williams. This is the girl who, uh, in fact, led that amazing national costume parade in those 15 beads and a wish. And uh, now she's in a beautiful gown of pink silver. Miss South Africa. <laughs> and Annalena Creel is a big favourite with this really packed audience here in the Royal Albert Hall here in London. Miss South Africa, number 47. Runner up to Miss World, Miss South Africa. Oh, and it's Miss South Africa. Annalene Creel and all the support here in the hall. Just 19, the student. 1958, they had a winner. Now they've got the runner up. Annalena Creel. The girl who just completed a film part, £1,500, so near, a prize of £1,500, who is going to be Miss World? Who's it going to be? Miss South Africa! Miss South Africa is at present studying computer science. But she also likes squash and cooking and dress designing. She's 20 years old. Her name, Rhoda Rademeyer. And we have Miss South Africa. Diana is wearing a black sleeveless gown of silk and tulle. The close fitting bodice is hand sewn with silver sequins and diamante. The gown fills out from the hip into a full tulle skirt with a small train at the back. That's Miss South Africa. Second runner-up, Miss South Africa.
runner-up is Miss South Africa. Basit Zani is studying psychology at university and her ambition is to become an educational psychologist. Hobbies include tennis, cookery, table tennis and keeping fit. And she speaks seven languages. English, Afrikaans, Tswana, Zulu, Sutu, Kosa and Venda. The first princess is Miss South Africa. Finalists, please welcome Miss South Africa. Bernalee is wearing a gold beaded French Chantilly lace and gold satin layered skirt. This elegant dress was designed by Dickie Longhurst. South Africa. Peggy is a professional model and a part-time student. She plans to complete her degree in communications and work in broadcasting. My finalist Miss South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, having lived under apartheid, I am now blessed to live in a democracy, and the changes and spirit of togetherness in South Africa have been miraculous. The second runner up is Miss South Africa. From South Africa, would you please welcome Karishni Nikhil. Okay, break a leg, but not literally, watch out, okay. Karishni Nikhil there, and after all that time spent looking so stunning, I just love her dress, by the way. All these girls deserve the relaxing holiday prizes in Malaysia and the Seychelles. The luxury all the way to tonight's winner. Hi, Karishni, how are you? It's Miss South Africa. It's Sonia Rakiti. Better late than never, Miss South Africa. She's probably just tweaking her hair or something. She's putting, putting a bit of speed on that walk now. Coming down the steps. She's a guitar player and a trained ballet dancer. And she's also a qualified primary school teacher. Respect to you, Miss South Africa. There you go. Second runner up is Miss South Africa. Miss South Africa, the second runner-up prize. She must be feeling very, very proud. Tiara going on there. Home favorite Joanne Strauss has achieved some amazing things in her life. She's into self-motivation and wants to set up her own media company. Hey, maybe she'll have a job for you one day, Jerry. From Africa is South Africa. All right, she's got some fans. She's got some fans. We want to hear you guys. All right. She is South Africa.
And the first one's gonna go to Go Bafana Bafana, South Africa! Okay. We have a part. In third place is South Africa. Hi there, my name is Nicole Flint. I'm 22 years old, representing South Africa. I'm a fun-loving person. I love interaction with people. I'm crazy about animals. And uh, I actually study TV and radio presenting um, at university and therefore want to become an accomplished TV presenter. Um, I've really got an embarrassing story. I do tend to be a little bit accident-prone at times. And I was actually curling my hair once and sort of just nodded off. Finalist number six is... South Africa. Well, Kang Munjani has a degree in public relations and she wants to tackle her social issues on a talk show, apparently. South Africa. I'm currently a fourth year medical student. I had to put my studies on hold for the year being Miss South Africa as it is kind of a full-time job. Right after I won, people heard about me being a test tube baby and I actually had journalists and magazines and radios call me and ask me whether I'm genetically modified. And Miss World 2014 is... Hi, my name is Lisa Laurie. I'm a 24-year-old proudly South African woman who was born and raised in the Golden City, Johannesburg. I recently completed my BCom accounting degree. And a little fun fact about me is that when I was nine years old, I decided to start a petition to make sure that I get my birthday present and my Christmas present because I am born on the 24th of December. Congratulations. All five of you are the Beauty with a Purpose winners. Yeah. It would be impossible to see all your work, so let's have a look at the presentation of one of our winners. South Africa! To me, South Africa is a country of hope, unity, strength and kindness. A place where your dreams truly can become a reality. My name is Adia van Heeren and I am proud to represent my beautiful country of South Africa at the 67th Miss World Contest. Oh. Yeah. There she comes. Oh, Actually, this is South Africa. Correction. South Africa. I'd like to qualify as a chartered financial analyst, complete my MBA with an Ivy League school, and eventually establish my own investment company. And this is... 
So for me, I think that the most important thing is for us to create these environments that foster creativity. It's not really related to my Beauty with a Purpose mm -hmm. project, but I think it's something to do with my purpose and something that I'm so very passionate about. I'm so passionate about kids. <laughs> well, that's lovely. Of the 62nd 